Hi Aquarius. Happy New Year. And the deck I am using is Shadowscapes Tarot. I'm going to do the Gypsy spread. And you can see it's really beautiful and intricate. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to hold the cards up so hopefully you can see the design on them better. So to start with, I will draw, deal out seven cards, three rows of seven cards, starting from the right to the left. Alright, so this first column that I'm going to read is on the right. And this is the state of mind you have coming into the month of January. So your state of mind is you have Ace of Cups reversed, Page of Cups, and Six of Cups. So at this time, you have a lot of love that you want to give, that you want to offer. This is all about love. This, this whole energy that you have, your state of mind is all about love. You want to um, romance somebody. You want to court them and be all sweet and romantic and charming. And you are remembering times in the past that you've had, the good times that you've had with this person. And it, and it makes you happy because it was things were simple and easy and not complicated. You had no um, pre-opinions or ideas of what was going on. You just went with the flow and you just did what you did what kids do. You're so innocent and, and, and um, very much in, in love and happy and content. But at this time, you're not feeling the love being reciprocated. You're not feeling it back. At, you're actually actually trying and you're not not getting the same what you are giving out. There's still love there. Maybe they showed in a different way or maybe you are experiencing unreciprocated love, unrequited love. In your home life you have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Cups, and the King of Pentacles reversed. So the two Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Pentacles are an earth sign, which is, which is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn and they normally are really grounded and good with their finances and their resources their time their effort their energy and there is an earth sign around you in in your home life someone that you care that's in, care about and they are in your your um, close circle of comrades of, of family of companionship there is an earth sign that is acting in the reversal. They are not budgeting very well. They aren't taking care of their resources, their time, their energy. And it makes, there's a situation, it could be in regards to this earth sign, that is making you sad that you are, are dwelling on what has ended, what has stopped and not looking at what is left in the situation. 
but you no longer are working at it either. You, are, you aren't working at this relationship or this situation. Instead, you are just like being pessimistic and pouting and, and mourning the situation instead of trying to improve your situation or your home life. Your desires for the month are you have Eight of Swords reversed, Three of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles. Your desires are to be free of the bonds and the ties, that the things that were holding you back. It could be your family responsibilities, your obligations, things that um, aren't really there but are in your head that you feel that you have to take care of. You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of your friends. Or if you have a job, you have to stay at that job because you won't have any money. Or your contracts, like if you have a lease or a loan or or house payment, car payment, whatever. These are things that bind you. And your desire is for those to go away, to not have so many, so many binds, so many obligations. And there is something that hurts you, that hurts you personally, in the heart. It could be somebody told you flat out the truth, the way you are, and and you didn't realize this is how you were. And now all of a sudden they tell you and, and it it just hurts. It's like, why did you say that? That wasn't nice at all. And how cold and callous they are. That just really hurt to the core. You desire that to go away, that pain, that hurt. And you desire some more family support, financially, mostly. Like, like from your, your parents and from your, from your family, the, you could desire some, some um, support emotionally too, also like with your, or maybe their time, their energy, if you have to move or something, you may desire some support that way from your family. What do you expect to happen in the month of January is the Queen of Wands reversed, the Page of Swords, and the Emperor. Wands are a fire sign, which is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You expect this, this uh, Queen of Wands to be acting out of the reversal. Normally the Queen is very nurturing, compassionate, charismatic, caring, concerning. She's like Mother Nature. She gets along with animals, with children, and helps them and stuff. But being in the reversal, not so much. Not as compassionate or caring or concerning. You expect a fire sign around you to be this way towards you. Not so compassionate, not so concerning, not so Mother Nature like. And you are the Page of Swords. You are trying to verbalize what it is you need at this time. And you expect, you expect to be verbalizing what you need and this fire sign to not be responsive in the way you want it to. And you expect somebody that acts like the Emperor, somebody that is very knowledgeable in the area and in the field, to be there, to help you, to give you support in the end. This emperor is somebody that you go to a lot for, for ideas, for help, for supports, for direction. What is going to surprise you in the month is Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords reversed, 
and the hermit reversed. Pentacles is a earth sign. So this could be an earth sign around you, which is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It could be an earth sign around you, or it could be you taking on this persona. The Queen of Pentacles is really good at budgeting, at taking care of their resources, taking care of their finances, whatever it, it they have of value that they need. It could be your clothes, it could be your money, it could be your time, your energy, your whatever, your food. Taking care of it and budgeting it to make sure it, it works and it lasts and it's and it reproduces and it's all good. This could be somebody around you that is helping you with this, that is helping you with your resources, because the Queen of Pentacles is also good at helping close family and friends to handle their resources also. But the Queen of Swords is you. It's an air sign. It's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. And you're acting in the reversal at this time. You're having a hard time. This is what's surprising you, is you're having a hard time getting it out, what it is that's in your head, what it is you need, what, what it is you need to communicate. And you're having a hard time at this time finding your spirituality, your intuition, your, your focus in the month of January. And this is all surprising you. So by the end of the month, in the soon-to-be future, you have the Hanged Man reverse, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or it could be you acting this way. By the end of the month, being in control of your emotion, being able to use your emotion by expressing it to people when necessary and to who, specifically to who you need to express your emotions to. And you know how valuable emotions are. And you know how to control how you respond and you react and actually use it to your advantage. There is something that you wanted to start and you need to be slow in the starting, in the process, but you are very impatient and you are unable to do this at this time. So by the end of the month, you want to start something that, that'll grow into something bigger, resources-wise, and you are unable to do it. It could be somebody that is an earth sign around you, but I'm, I'm really getting this as a feeling that it's you wanting to start this new financial, new direction to get earn more money, to earn more money, and you're having a hard time starting it at this time. And the hangman reversed. So you're not able to find that spirituality, that direction, that that focus. Like, why am I here? What is it I'm supposed to do? What is my goal? Where? What am I going to be when I grow up? It's it's kind of that type of mentality. It's kind of like, like, why was I put here on earth? What is my purpose why are we here that is what you're trying to find you're trying to it, some people do this their whole life try to find this and they ask that question why you know why and you're having a hard time getting a direction that you are happy with but just take peace because sometimes it'll take a lifetime to figure that out you can always look on the internet, though. They have a lot of spiritual things that you can look up. In the long-term outcome, 
You have Page of Pentacles reversed, the Star, and Six of Wands. Good job. So by the end, what an awesome way to end the reading. And your long-term outcome, you have clarity. You have healing. You have focus. You are going to figure it out. You're, you are going to figure out why you are here, what direction you want to take, what purpose you're going to do in life, what it is you want to focus on. You're going to figure that out. You're not going to figure it out completely, but you're going to be content with the, um, the direction you are going and what you have discovered along the way. You're going to be pleased with that. And people around you are also going to be pleased. They're going to be congratulating you. They're going to be telling you, good job, boy," And you're going to feel really good about this. You're going to feel good about your focus, your direction, what you have learned, the way you have evolved and matured, and, and the growth you have done. There was a, a fire sign that, that had a message, but they have already been in the reversal. They have already um, had that desire, that passion, and they have already like fizzled out on it. But they are still there. They are still in, in your surroundings, in your life. And they are seeing how you are evolving. They are pleased with this situation also that you are healing, that you have found a focus. They are probably one of the ones that are saying, attaboy, good job, congratulations. What an excellent way to end the reading. Looking forward to talking to you again in February. Best wishes.